And you don't have to be very observant or have been in this country very long to know about issues of race in this country, especially between black Americans and white Americans. And these are, this was an issue that was formed and shaped by and then also shaped slavery in the United States. Right? So um, talking about slavery means talking about race. Um, and it's especially painful because the injustices and the harms caused by slavery in the United States continue to be, are cont- continue to be with us in our society. So it's a, it's a live wire. Not in the sense that it's, you know, uh, uh, it's sensitive. It's, sensitive. it's actually a real living problem. Okay. The second reason it's very difficult to talk about is because it involves tying our brain in knots. It involves tying our brain in knots, and people don't like to do that. It causes them anxiety. I'm going to give you an example. Who remembers the Charlottesville protests in 2017, summer of 2017? Charlottesville, Virginia, University of Virginia, founded by Thomas Jefferson. Of course, there's a nice big statue of Thomas Jefferson there. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was the author of the Declaration of Independence, one of the leading thinkers of the American Revolution, a man who believed in freedom of democracy, and a man who had a lot of slaves and had children with one of his slave women, right? Um, who, those children were then also slaves. He eventually freed them, but they were also slaves. So what, there were a lot of protesters at the um, University of Virginia saying uh, slavery is an evil. It's, a great, it's history's greatest crime. It's wrong no matter where you are or when. And we don't want a statue of a guy who was a slave owner and who raped a slave woman up in front of our university. That's a pretty good argument, right? I mean, that's like a pretty good logical argument. Slavery is evil. This guy did slavery. Statue's got to go. Donald Trump came out. And he summarized the situation in a way that remarkably only he could do. He said, um, George Washington's a slave owner. Are you going to take down statues of George Washington? Imagine taking down every statue of George Washington. Imagine renaming everything that's called Washington. It's topographically or toponymically exhausting to think about that. And it's just impossible politically in the United States to talk about this issue. Wait a second. We have a contradiction here. Slavery is evil. George Washington was a slave owner. Why do we name everything after him? So this is the, what I call the slavery conundrum. There's an American slavery conundrum and there's an Islamic slavery conundrum. And they're very similar to one another. But I'll give you the, basically the slavery conundrum. The slavery conundrum is that there are three things, there are three axioms that we have to hold in modern America and in the modern West and maybe in the modern world. There's three things, three axioms we have to hold in our mind, but it's impossible to hold all three in your mind at the same time because they're contradictory. What are they? First, slavery is an intrinsic and gross moral evil. What does that mean, intrinsic? It means that slavery itself is evil. It's not slavery is evil because it makes you sad. It's not slavery evil because you're miserable. It's not slavery is evil because it causes abusive rights. Slavery in and of itself is evil. And it's not just, you know, a little evil like me, you know, smacking the ass on the back of the head for no reason. This is a gross evil. This is never the lesser of two evils. This is never the thing you can do because there's something you think is more harmful. It is never excusable. It is a gross and intrinsic evil across space and time. What do I mean across space and time? Was slavery wrong when Thomas Jefferson did it? Talk to me like Americans. Tell me. Give me the American answer. Was slavery wrong when Thomas Jefferson did it? Yes. Yes. Okay, was slavery wrong during the Roman period? Yes. Was slavery wrong during the Egyptian times? Yes. It was throughout space and time. 